What if I were to tell you that a game developer has now confirmed a new game coming to not just Nintendo Switch, because, well, yeah, new games come to Switch all the time, but also to the Nintendo Switch successor, known as the Switch Next Gen or the Next Generation Switch, or as it's tentatively called out there, the Nintendo Switch 2. Again, we don't really know the name of the platform, but what we do know is a developer has now confirmed a game coming to that platform, which is quite exciting considering that the platform hasn't even been fully acknowledged by Nintendo other than something's happening in 20XX, right? So... Look, guys, before we dive into this, I just want to remind you that we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate it if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and go ahead and ring that bell to be notified of all future uploads. All right, I don't want to waste too much of your time today. This is going to be a pretty quick video, but a developer confirmed to a Spanish website called Revo Gamers, and we have a tweet up here, and the translation says, uh, Tamarindos Freaking Dinner. The next game from at Celebrity Emblem, who is responsible for the brilliant Baobab's Mausoleum, will come to Nintendo Switch and also to its successor, as its creator has confirmed to us. Now, to try to get clarification for this, Jake Steinberg from Game Explain responded to the post and said, Hello, Jake from Game Explain here. I just want to confirm. Did the developer really mention the Nintendo Switch successor? And then this guy called Jacob Jazz, but if you notice, it's actually at Celery Emblem responded. So the actual developer of the game responded. Apparently, Jacob Jazz, I think he's a one-man developer, said, Hi, yes. So what he's just saying here is, yeah, I did tell him we're bringing it to the Nintendo Switch successor. So what does this really mean? In the grand scheme, this isn't going to tell us when the system is coming out. This isn't going to tell us what the plans are. This isn't going to give us an idea of specs even. Even if a third-party, major third-party developer like, say, you know, Activision came out and said, yes, we will be releasing Call of Duty on the Switch successor next year, that still wouldn't even tell us what the specs of the system are. So what does this information mean? Why are we even talking about this? Well, it's because it's the first confirmed game coming to the next Nintendo system. Now, does that mean this developer has a dev kit, a one-man dev team has a dev unit? That I don't know. I don't know how likely that scenario is because the likelihood that indie developers have dev kits would be based on the timing of when the system would come out. So if this developer has a dev kit right now, well, that to me would suggest this Switch successor must be coming out by March of 2024, right? It has to be pretty quick if Nintendo's putting it in hands of indie developers. Now, that's the thing. If he has a dev kit, that could be what that indicates, but he's not claiming he has a dev kit. He's claiming that it's releasing on the next platform. Now, this could just be a plan. Of course, he might be planning to release it, but it doesn't say plan to release. It says will be releasing. Now, it could be that if he doesn't have a dev kit, what he does have is a spec sheet. So what can happen sometimes before developers get dev kits is when they apply to get a dev kit, sometimes instead of getting one right now, because Nintendo might send them out in waves and base it on priority of developer size and game sales, they might actually send you what is known as a spec sheet. Now that spec sheet will be under NDA, but what that spec sheet can do is give a developer an expectation of the performance of a platform, which could allow them to then decide if they want to provide development resources for that platform even before they have. Now in the case of this game, the Tormito's Freaking Dinner, which I believe was announced last year, it does look like quite an interesting game, and I don't know about the full aspects of it, but I know that the game that it's a... Uh, apparently a spiritual successor to, you know, was actually reviewed really, really well. So I, again, I'm not going to argue that this game needs something like the Switch 2 hardware, but it is interesting that this person is saying it's coming. So to me, this would say that this person knows maybe, maybe a, a frack. Look, if he has a dev unit, then he knows quite a bit, but maybe what he's actually knows is a bunch of fellow developers. Maybe he's got a spec sheet from Nintendo and what he does possibly know is that this system is coming out sometime relatively soon. Now, what does relatively soon mean? Well, look, the term soon can already mean anything, right? Like, Hey, look, if I say something is soon and it happens, 
you know, two years from now. Well, that's a hell of a lot sooner than happening 10 years from now. So that would be relative to that given time frame, 10 years pretty soon. So what I actually mean here is that I think the system is coming out in the next 12 months. Now, that's not throwing a lot out there, right? We're talking a 12-month period. We're talking September to September. But I think what this does is help confirm that sort of time frame uh, if there's going to be a game actually planning to come out on it. We'll see what happens, of course. I don't know when this game actually comes out on Nintendo Switch. It did previously release on Steam. So I'm not 100% sure when we should expect this. I guess it's on, um, I don't even know, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch? I'm not really... Keeping up with this is kind of weird. I don't know, man. I'm just like looking up release dates and stuff, and nothing's really adding up to me at the moment. All I know is the actual developers, like, yeah, man, it's coming to the next system. You guys take from that what you will. I don't really know what else to say about this, so I'm just gonna, gonna let it lie right there. I also wanted to note to you guys that there is a brand new uh, Mario Wonder trailer out there. If you guys are interested, it's about six minutes long. It doesn't really tell us a lot of new about the game. It's mostly just recapping everything that was in the 15-minute presentation down into a six-minute presentation. But it does contain some new gameplay. So if you're somebody who needs every single dying moment of gameplay for this game, there is some new gameplay in it. And look, I don't really want to show you guys because I seem to get yelled at every time I show it. People, people are being weird with Mario Wonder. Can we just stop and say it for a moment? Like, it's getting really strange around this game. It's like people yell at me when I show official media for a game. I want to make... I'll take this moment to just state my brief stance as a content creator and a news deliverer. If it's official media published by Nintendo, it is fair game for me to put it into my videos and not warn you about spoilers. I'm just going to throw that out there because it's official marketing material. If Nintendo releases it, I can put it in my videos. I don't need to warn you. You don't need like you. You might feel it's a personal spoiler. Get mad at Nintendo. We are not Nintendo. They have decided that this stuff is okay to use in marketing, so we're going to use it. All right? I just want to sort of make my stance on that clear since I see a number of comments always complain. Don't, why'd you put, I can't watch your videos. You use the 15 minute, they're right. oh, I can't, you use the six minute commercial. Yeah, it's official media from Nintendo. And this is before we get into a discussion that like, can Mario games really be spoiled? I'm not, I'm not so sure that that's even, even possible. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And you know what? We'll catch you in that next video.